Oh, oh, hey, hey, Ryan. Um, what, what are you doing here? Do you want, do you want to come in? If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, come on. So, do you want some like tea or something? Yeah. Um, it actually sounds pretty good. Thanks. Here you go. Well, I can't exactly say that I'm excited to see you, man. I mean, things kind of ended abruptly when you left. I mean, how long has it been? Two months? Right? You, you gotta know that me and the other guys are pretty upset. I think we're all still kind of reeling from the events that took place. I mean, we couldn't really figure out what was wrong with you, you know? You slowly stopped talking to any of us, you locked yourself in the room after class, you stopped going out with us, and I actually don't think I saw you eating after a certain point. And then one night I heard all this commotion inside your bedroom, and you were knocking things all over the place, smashing the walls, and then you come out here and break that coffee table, I like that coffee table, and, and then you just leave. You slam the door behind you, and then you didn't come back. I mean, I don't get it, Ryan. You come out of nowhere at our doorstep, and, uh, I, I just don't know. What do you want? You're right. I was a total jerk. And I'm sorry that any of that happened. Like, what I did back then was totally uncalled for, and I just came back here to apologize. But, I just need you to know, I honestly felt like none of you guys were paying attention. At what? Chris, I was an absolute wreck, and you guys never even bothered to ask what's wrong. I came in your guys' room, and all you guys did was look at your computer screens and not bother to even look at me and see that something was wrong. I mean, you guys went farther and farther away from me. Dude, I was taking 22 units, my financial aid fell through, and I started taking up two jobs. My parents couldn't even help me because they're getting divorced, and my brother, he died in a car accident, and I couldn't do anything to help him. He called me the day before, asking for some kind of some kind of reassurance from me. He was so broken and lost, and I missed his phone call. I couldn't do anything to help him, and while you guys were watching movies, and playing video games, and caught up in your own lives, there I was, being eaten up by my own life. You guys didn't even try to help. I'm back here because this place was more of a home to me than back home. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. You know what? It's okay. I guess I just came, you know, to find someone to blame. And in reality, I don't think it's even your guys' fault. <laughs> you... you know what? I better go. You know, I'm sorry for dropping by unexpectedly. Thanks for the tea, but, you know, just can't deal with this right now. Ryan, wait. I'm, I'm free today. Do you wanna, do you wanna stay and fix the coffee table with me? Yeah, sure. That cool. sounds good. It's good to have you back. Let's go inside. A little longer I'm thinking Give me my space so I can face it alone 
I've always been one for sober reality Can't find the pieces for the increasing unknown I sigh Just try to convince me I'm not entirely so Well, I'm watching and I'm waiting Till the sun comes up I'm sick 